What's up everyone, this is Cybernet8610 and Primal Origin has done it again, bringing back an older archetype and giving it some crazy support. This is one of those videos, yet again, where we're just going to be talking about one card, just because it deserves to have its own video. That's how awesome it is. Uh, every time we've talked about support for older archetypes, you know, whether it be the top 10 list I did, or just like pretty much any Primal Origin video I've had lately, because there's always, uh, there's like at least one new card for every archetype in this set, I swear. And uh, everyone wants Evo support. Well, I didn't really think it would happen, and it did. And I gotta say, I am very happy that it did. And that is uh, Evolutionary uh, Singularity is the card. It looks freaking amazing, too. I love Evos anyway, just because they're basically Digimon. I mean, a Digimon meets Yu-Gi-Oh, which is, you know, Digimon's like one of my favorite shows ever. I remember always rushing home from school to watch it. And uh, I'm so glad they're getting a card that's this powerful. It is a normal trap card, and its effect is you can target one Evotile and one Evasaur monster in your graveyard, special summon one Evazar uh, monster from your extra deck, and if you do, attach those targets to it as an XC material. So basically, what does this mean? Instant Dolka, instant Logia. <laughs> That's all you need to know. That's There are two main boss monsters. I consider those two more of the boss monsters than the rank 5 that they have, which I believe Solda was the other one. I can't remember. I think that's right. And, uh... So yeah, you instantly have another way to bring out, and it's in a trap card. This card is going to help them out a lot. I mean, that archetype always had a lot of potential anyway, and uh, I always kind of felt bad for the archetype anyway, because it, it turned into something else. You know, it was, you know, the whole Dino Rabbit thing, which was a very powerful deck, which it, it was pretty cool back, I don't know, what was it, two years? Has it been two years or so since that came out? Something like that. And I always kind of felt bad for Evos, though, because it was basically another deck using its main cards. But now, it looks like they'll be able to use their own boss monsters way easier than even before. You know, they won't really even need Rescue Rabbit. They have this now. I gotta say, I'm very glad to see that Konami is answering a lot of people, it seems like, in this set. It looks like they're really listening to all of us, you know, all of our favorite archetypes that we have out there. And uh, just about everything's getting support in this set. I have to say... Right now, Primal Origin has to be the best set we've had in a very long time. I mean, this makes... This has got to be at least the best Zell set, if not the best set that we've had, you know, in years. Just because it has so much support for just about everything. I mean, Gustos, Noble Knights are going to be, in, you know, for the TCG version. And, I mean, just... You can go on and on. I mean, there's just so much new support coming out. I'm really excited about it, as you can tell. And I'm glad to see that Evo's got the support they deserve as well. Uh... I think this is going to be very interesting whenever this set comes out. We're getting it in May, of course, in English, and it's coming out in Japan uh, this Saturday. So I can't wait to see what's going to happen to the meta after it comes out, especially for the TCG, because I wonder what are going to be the top decks after this, because I'm hoping to see a lot of the older archetypes that we haven't seen in a very long time uh, come back, especially, you know, like Gustos and stuff too, and uh, just so much stuff, Evos, I mean, come on, I would love to see all these at big tournaments, maybe we'll actually have some variety for once, instead of just the same, you know, two or three decks out there, but yeah, what do you guys think, especially if you, you know, love Evos, you, maybe you still even run them, what do you think of this new support, is this something you're really going to run, is it going to be, you know, you're going to run three of these, or, or, you know, what do you think of this card, I want to hear from, of course, an Evo player on that, and of course, uh, will this card make you pick up Evos again, maybe you haven't played them in a very long time, and it was, you know, a cool art type, will this card make you go back for them? I gotta say, this makes me want to rebuild them. I, I think I have just about all the cards I need to. They're pretty cheap now, especially the XC monsters. They were in tens, so uh, they were pretty easy to get. So it shouldn't be too hard to build this deck. And uh, yeah, we might have to do a deck profile over them. As always, though, thank you for watching. Make sure to come, rate, subscribe, and tell me if there's any other cards that were revealed, because there were a lot of them from Primal Origin, that you think deserve like its own video or something, and that I haven't covered yet. Please tell me in the comments, and I will gladly uh, do a video over that as well. All right? Later, guys.